Hi, I'm Golf Magazine Top 100 Instructor Tom Stegney. In today's TrackMan Educational Series, I want to talk to you about the correlation between angle of attack and swing direction and how they merge to form your club path. So let's take a look at a little sample shot. Okay, so what we see, and this is very, very important, my angle of attack and my swing direction work together to form my true club path. Once again, my angle of attack and my swing direction work together to form my true club path. Your club path cannot be seen by the naked eye, cannot be seen on video. That is what you see as your swing direction. Divots do not show club path. They only show swing direction. So remember, your divots are virtually worthless. They don't tell you club path. They don't tell you angle attack. They don't tell you lie angle. They don't tell you curvature. And they don't tell you where the ball started. Okay, so remember, your divots are virtually worthless. So, what you need to understand about your angle of attack is the more you hit down on a golf ball, the more the ball, or the more the path is shifted to the right. The more you hit up on the golf ball, the more the path is shifted to the left. So what do we see? So your swing direction right here is basically, if I took a video overhead, okay, a video overhead, it would show me is my club swinging this way, this way, or this way. Okay, so what do we see? My swing direction was three degrees to the left. I hit down on it, 5.9 degrees with my 7 iron, which gives us a net resulting club path of basically down the line. So I swung 3 degrees left, I hit down on it basically 6 degrees, that shifted my club path my 7 iron basically down the line. Now, if I do just the opposite, watch what happens. If I swing to the right, okay, if I swing more to the right and hit down, now watch what we see. Okay, now I have a swing direction. Now I have a swing direction that was from the inside, basically five degrees from the inside. I hit down on it, 3.9 degrees, which once again will shift the club path to the right. So you have to be very, very careful about where you're swinging and how your angle of attack changes your true club path. What you'll find, sometimes you'll see people that have a swing direction that's negative in better players, okay, so they're swinging left, but they hit down on it and it actually shoves the path more to the right and they hit pulls instead of cuts. So remember, your angle of attack and your swing direction work together to form your true club path. All right, so let me put, get on video here. We'll experiment with that a little bit. So, your true club path is this and your swing direction. All right, we understand that. So, if you line up left and hit down on it, the path will be shifted more this way. If you line up right and hit down on it, the path should be shifted more that way. If you line up down the line, it can go either way. So remember, your alignments heavily correlate with your swing direction. Because if I line up way over here, it's probably a pretty good thought that my club is going to follow my torso. If I line up here, obviously it's going to follow suit. The only thing that can impact that, obviously, is angle attack. So when you're hitting irons, okay, and you hit down on the golf ball a whole bunch, that's going to shift the path more to the right. So with irons, you might have to line up more left. Because remember, if I line up a touch more left, I hit down on it, it's going to move that path more to the right. That's going to zero out the path if that's what you so choose to do. With drivers, if you hit up on a golf ball, that shifts the path to the left. So with drivers, I, have to, might, I might have to aim a little bit more to the right, so when I do hit up on the golf ball, it shifts the path more in line with what we want to do. So remember, your angle of attack and your swing direction form your true club path. Do not look at your divots. They don't tell you anything. 
So hopefully now you understand the difference between angle of attack, swing direction, and club path, and how they all merge together.